Did y'all hear about that lady that left her 16 month old baby girl in her playpen, home alone, no supervision for 10 days while the mother went on vacation? So this is a Hispanic woman. She went to Puerto Rico on vacation with some little man that she was messing with. And she goes to Puerto Rico and then she goes to Detroit for three days. So a, a couple days, I think it was like maybe seven days in Puerto Rico and maybe three days in Detroit. And then by the time she came home and she left her baby there with just maybe two bottles and some crackers. But the thing about it is like that baby, by the time they found that baby, that baby was severely dehydrated. Like her eyes were like sunken into her face. She had lost seven pounds. There was something about like like pigmentation where there's been so much like so such severe dehydration. Fuck, there such severe dehydration that when you like would pinch the skin, it'll stay that pigment, right? And another thing is that the baby was, you know, was starved to death. Didn't have any food, and it got to a certain point where the baby was, you know just desperate to survive just desperate for food that the baby started to eat her own feces out of her diaper just pulled some feces out of her diaper tried to eat it it was by the time the people found her like when the police and detective paramedics came it was feces inside of her mouth in her teeth on her it was crushed around her lips it was underneath her fingernails and the thing about it is um, what makes the situation worse is that there you can hear the baby crying for her mom at like one o'clock in the morning by the neighbor's like doorbell camera was able to capture the footage or the audio of the baby crying from next door right and it's like 1 a.m in the morning you can hear the baby crying out and you can just hear her crying out in agony because she just like, can you imagine, like, she's sitting in a soiled, soggy diaper full of feces. She's hungry. She's tired. She wants food. She's, she wants her mom. She realizes that she's alone. There's no one to come and save her, to come help her, rescue her, take care of her. Another thing is this baby, can you just imagine, like, this baby sitting in the dark by herself? No lights. Like, I don't even know if this woman left, like, a closet light on, left just a soft lamp on. I don't even know if this woman left any lights on in the house. But just imagine a baby just sitting in the dark, cold, hungry, scared. And it's just like, how can a woman, how can a mother just feel comfortable leaving that house, getting on that plane, going to vacation? How can she even feel comfortable sleeping at night knowing what she done did to her baby? So, here is my theory. Okay, first I'll tell you what her sentence was. Her sent. I'm gonna tell you that at the end. But anyway, okay. So here's what my theory. I think what happened is that this mother no longer wanted her child. She didn't want this baby anymore. She's a single mom. She's not married. It's not like the baby daddy is in the picture because we don't hear shit about the baby daddy. So she's a single mom. She doesn't want this child. Probably regrets even having this child. And she wants to just, you know, she wants to opt out of being a mom. She wants to opt out of taking care of this child because she doesn't love her child. You can't love your child and just abandon them and neglect them like that. Like, no, fuck that. And here's my theory. I feel that she probably was doing some research and looking up into stuff about like, you know, not I feel it. Maybe it's a, this is the theory. This is just my theory. Is that supposedly she looked up different things about how long does it take for a baby to die of starvation how long does it take for a baby to die of dehydration how many days would it take for a baby to just just die and when she saw how many days it was going to take that's how many days she allowed on her vacation and allowed like even when she came back she didn't immediately come back to come back home she went to Detroit for a couple of days and stayed there then came back home so she was pretty much stalling time she was buying time now I believe that this woman no longer wanted her child she wanted that child dead but didn't have the balls to kill her that sounds graphic it sounds a lot but yeah that that's what I think I think that like this woman wanted her child dead 
didn't have the balls to kill her. So she was going to just miraculously be too depressed and go on a vacation and leave her baby at home. The baby miraculous, like mysteriously dies, not miraculously, sorry, sorry. The baby mysteriously dies from natural causes. And then the mother thought she was going to be able to just bury the child, let bygones be bygones, wash her hands a bit, clean the bit she's and have a clean slate and be able to continue to move on and live her life. She probably thought she was going to get away with this. She probably thought that nothing was going to happen, any type of severe, severity. She didn't think she was going to get punished for it. She thought that, because she probably thought if I were to kill the baby, then I would go to jail. But if I let the baby die, they may not throw me in jail. You know, fucking delusional ass people. So I think she definitely did this on purpose. She definitely left her baby there on purpose with intending to intentionally let the child starve to death. Let the child die of dehydration. Let the child have nothing and just let the child just die and then was gonna come back and then put on this whole fucking actor actress moment that's what i think happened that she went on this trip knowingly that that baby was most likely going to be dead by the time that she got back there and i think that that was her intention she didn't think she was going to get punished for it though so when they have her on trial and you say they sent her to court and everything and when she got her sentence the judge sentenced her for this is pretty much like i don't know if he said first degree murder or second degree murder or whatever i forgot what he said but the sentence that the judge gave her was life in prison without parole you see how it looks like bars right here like prison bars but yeah that's what it is they said because she left that child confined in that playpen behind these bars with no food, no water, no nothing. That's exactly how she's going to live the rest of her life. Behind bars, confined in a small place. But the only thing is she will be allowed three meals a day because legally they have to feed the prison inmates. But she's life in prison without parole. She's not going to be able to be eligible for parole. She's essentially going to die in prison. That's if she lasts that long because a woman that's crazy like her may look at that situation and think like, oh, well, I'm going to I'm going to die in prison anyway. Might as well just do it myself. Like if, if anything ever comes out of this story where we find out that the same woman that did this to her child miraculously dies in prison suddenly, she killed herself. She probably won't like we killed herself. It sounds very much like a Lifetime movie, like they could make a movie about some shit like this because this is a wild ass story, a wild ass story. And it just don't make no sense how there are women out here that are mothers that just don't love their children and just completely abandon their child. Like you could have done anything. You could have asked somebody to watch your child. You could have asked anybody to take care of your child, somebody to look after them. But it was it's the fact of that she didn't even put the effort in to ask somebody to watch the child because she probably didn't want to spend money or whatever the case is. Or maybe really she just didn't want this child anymore and she just did whatever she could do to just get rid of the child. People are sick out here. People are so fucking sick, bro. And if you are a parent out there and you don't want your child anymore, give that child up for adoption don't unalive your child don't kill your child your child deserves to have a life they deserve to have a family that loves them and if you can't provide a loving home a loving space a good home for this place to live for that child to live in and if you feel like you are not emotionally available to have children if you feel like you just no longer want to be a parent and you don't have us <clears throat> you don't have another spouse that that can take care of the rest of the children give that child up for adoption let that child go into another family but never take away the life of a child, the life of an innocent child that deserves to live and grow old and have a life of their own. Don't deprive a child of that just because you made the mistake of having a child when you weren't ready for one, when you honestly didn't even want one. There are so many women out here that want children that have trouble conceiving that would most likely gladly take another child because they can't have children of their own. And they would love to take y'all babies in. Start giving your children up for adoption if you don't want them. What's the point of killing them? Because you killing a child, you, that, that's a life for a life. You take away someone else's life, your life is not going to be thrown away. And then all of that shit wasn't even worth it. And she could have still continued to live her life if she would just done the righteous thing and just gave that baby up for adoption if she didn't want her anymore. Now your whole life is thrown away. 
sick, man. People are sick. 